subscribe for more of this bullshit and uh, assist me in my attempts to uh, escape the life of being a minimum wage slave. Yes, I'm gonna talk about DMZ while playing Destiny 2 and no, I don't care. Thank you. You're welcome, there are people on this roof. I don't know, I just, uh, maybe because they know it. Just as he came around the corner. Hello and welcome back to Destiny 2. So today uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about DMZ in Modern Warfare 2. And I'm just playing Destiny 2 because I need to catch up on the uh, seasonal quest. Because I, I haven't done it in a very long time and there's only two weeks left in the season. So uh, I'm just playing this so I have something easy to play in the background. And uh, I didn't feel like playing uh, Call of Duty today. Um, but just really quick before I get started, I just want to uh, thank... Uh, everybody who's been subscribing and commenting and liking uh, my videos recently. Uh, I appreciate it a lot. So, uh, uh, but yeah, I want to talk about DMZ today and specifically I want to talk about uh, playing solo in DMZ. Uh, I think a few days, like a couple days ago, I uh, put up a video, a solo match of DMZ and uh, I was, uh, I think it was called like uh, DMZ solos are rough or something like that. And uh, there is a very uh, shared sentiment in the comments and I think in generally from the community that uh, yeah, this shit is really hard to play by yourself, and that's I'm, that's ignoring all the uh, technical issues with the game. Here, hold on, I have to relaunch this playlist because I didn't get the map I want. I love it when they add uh, quest steps in uh, the seasons where you have to do a specific version of the seasonal activity, but it's only on the playlist. So you just have to fucking gamble and hope you get the right one. That's not annoying at all. Um, but yeah, there was a very common sentiment shared that uh, people want a solo mode for DMZ. And uh, just the long and short of it is, uh, I don't think there would be any significant drawbacks to adding a solo mode. Because, I mean, you would still have the threat of players and the AI. The only thing that would not happen would be people going into the game squatted up. So, you know, you, you most likely wouldn't get your shit ran by full squads because even ignoring the squads like the uh playing solo by yourself is like really this is not what i wanted game um but yeah the uh 
you know, the third of players would still exist because, you know, obviously the only difference in the two modes would be that, oh, you're, you can't squat up outside in the lobby and then go into a match. And honestly, I feel like, you know, if people did want to like team up with other players, while soloing, you know, that's what the prox chat is for, and that would, like, emphasize that feature that they've uh, been pushing up until uh, Warzone 2 and DMZ's released. So, um, yeah, that's all I really wanted to say about that. Maybe they could also do some balancing things, just in general. Like, you know, maybe make the AI a bit less aggressive. Although, maybe if they did that, my brain went on autopilot and I forgot I'm trying to get a specific map. But uh, yeah, I was going to say maybe they could balance it, like nerf the AI just a little bit. But then I thought about it as like, mm, that might make them too easy if you're playing in the squad mode. And then that brings up the like discussion of, oh, should the separate modes have different balancing? And I feel like if that were to be the case, then like, I feel like that would, it would be less likely that they would add a solo mode. So I think all we're mostly asking for is uh, that they add a solo mode period. And if the AI need to be stay the same as they are then so be it but oh yeah and somebody also left a comment on uh that video I, I didn't know this i don't know if this is actually true but i'm just i'm taking him for his word but uh somebody commented that there are actually like dead drop locations where you can uh deposit your cash to lower your insured weapon cooldowns in the match i think they're like dumpsters behind gas stations most of the time but uh yeah i didn't know that so i literally just saw a comment earlier today somebody mentioned that i was like oh shit so the next time i play i'll be on the lookout for those because that's really useful um but yeah in terms of destiny stuff let me see what how many weeks are there left in season yeah there's 14 days there's literally two weeks left and i'm level 50 so i don't think it should be too difficult to level up the pass all the way and get the uh and finish the story quest um but yeah that, that dmz video is uh is this where i want to be Yes, okay, good. Um, but yeah, that DMZ video is getting uh, more attention than a lot of my videos have recently, which is cool. Um, it's like I think it's like a 800 something views right now, and I think it has like 30 something likes. Although I might be misremembering that, but uh, yeah, but it's just really like cool to see that uh, you know people, other people are experiencing something in the same way that I am. So at least I know I'm not just being bad at the video game. I mean, I probably am, but you know, not as much to the extent that I thought I was. I should probably do the objective. Also, if you mainly play Call of Duty and you're watching me play this game and you have no idea what the fuck is going on, that's perfectly fine. You don't really need to pay attention to this. All you need to know is that uh, you shoot aliens in this game and you also have like space magic powers. It's pretty fun, but it can be a big grind to you, but that's like the whole point of the game. So if you're into that, then you'd probably enjoy this. Oh, also, I tried to record something for the intro sequence and uh, I forgot that I can't you can't just use uh, OBS's game capture or even window capture because I, I guess it has something to do with destiny's like uh, anti-cheat measures like it won't let OBS hook into the game to let you record so you have to use a uh, display capture on OBS which is really weird but as long as I rec can record the game you know I it, it'll do whatever as long as it's not particularly annoying I wonder, I'm, I was thinking, I wonder what I'm going to make the thumbnail. Should I make it Call of Duty and DMZ related or should I make it Destiny related? Probably Call of Duty, just so more people click on it. Because I feel like that's what most of the people who subscribe to this channel watch. And hopefully th they don't get frustrated when they realize I'm not playing Call of Duty in the video. But I think it should be fine. Goodbye. Um, but yeah, I was thinking about playing a, like a Warzone for the video today, but I like I really like Warzone too, but like sometimes the matches just feel like they drag on for too long, especially in the middle. Not that I won't play it again in the near future, but it's just I hope they address the uh, pacing issues of the game along with, you know, everything else that's wrong with the game uh, relatively soon. Oh man, I'm so hungry. I should probably eat something after I record this. Uh, speaking of eating. Um, I'm actually celebrating uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, by the time this video goes up, I'll be celebrating it, celebrating it, celebrating it today. Just because uh, you know, it's more convenient for my family this year to uh, celebrate it on Tuesday instead of Thursday. Just because uh, getting everybody to uh, have the same day off and whatnot, uh, it just lined up for uh, 
Tuesday instead of Thursday this year. I mean, the food's gonna be so good tomorrow. Oh my god, I can't fucking wait. All right, a random question, and I know this sounds like a fucking like uh, what is it, what's the word I'm looking for? Like engagement fucking bait. But I'm actually I'm actually curious. What is your favorite like Thanksgiving food? If you have any, or if you celebrate it. Honestly, I think mine either has to be like the ham or the turkey. I know a lot, a lot of people talk shit about turkey, but honestly, like with like gravy, like I think turkey is good, but I think it's uh, better when it's eaten with, you know, all the other Thanksgiving items, obviously. But I guess uh, ham would like stands up better on its own as a food. Uh, I also really like mashed potatoes. And, and I like stuffing too, which is surprising because it's kind of just like bread. I don't even fully understand what stuffing actually is, but you know, I eat it and it tastes good, so fuck it. It's fine. Uh, let me just punch this defenseless robot. Alright, well you missed, so... Goodbye. Oh my god, look at all the fucking angerms. Oh, it's moving already. Go in. You fuck. How dare you? I offer my hand in friendship and you spat in my face. I will remember this betrayal. Honestly, I, I remember when I uh, made my like original Destiny 2 videos, like the getting back into Destiny 2 and the uh, seasonal catch up I did for Season of the Haunted. I remember uh, like I was planning on playing the game more, but then fucking uh, Call Modern Warfare 2 came out and that uh, kind of uh, ruined those plans. I think Call of Duty, besides my like original like Let's Play videos for Dark Souls and DMC3, I think uh, Call of Duty is the most amount of videos I've ever made on one game. I, I need to check the playlist just to make sure, but... Yeah, fucking that game literally like took over my life when it came out. Which is not a bad thing, because that game is really fun, but... It's it's taken my attention away from uh, other games that I enjoy playing, like, like this. I don't have the fucking Thundercrush Exotic on because I'm using Insurmountable Skull for it. So I did less damage with that, but it's fine. I guess the strat for those fucking... What are they called? Briggs. Is that I guess you're supposed to use like a rocket launcher or something. Because shooting it feels like shooting it with anything else. Like, does no damage until you pop its face off. Which is also kind of the point, but I guess. Oh, and he's dead. No, come down here, you fuck. There we go. What am I gonna get? Give me my treasure. Your dad kicked down their front door with nothing but a splicer gauntlet. How smart could they be? You know, he has a point. Um, but yeah, I think that's all for me for today. I, I just wanted to uh, talk about uh, my quick thoughts on DMZ really quick. You know, especially considering the traction that a uh, recent video got. But uh, man, I need to play other games more. But at the same time, then I feel like I won't be investing enough time into each game if I do do that. I don't know. That's a problem for me to figure out. But uh, yeah, that's all for me for today. Later.